what's up guys man i got something right now that i want to talk about you know trending right now on social media but this is not all that trending is making nigeria the envy of africa in terms of uh, you know entertainment i want to talk about top songs of 2020 you know tanzanian up on tanzania apple chat that is something i want to talk about you know so for a lot of people to actually understand and uh, you know, I spoke about Ghanaian song where I mistakenly say, said, uh, you know, Jackie is in Nigeria, man. I'm very sorry, Jackie is not in Nigeria. But right now, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, other countries, you know, for us to understand um, uh, the issue at hand, you know. Or sometimes we Nigerians dominate other social media platforms, other musical charts around the world, around the continent and is making uh, some people red eye at the end of the day accusing nigerians of not supporting them when it comes to music uh, before i dive in to talk about these things i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new here and um, i'm using this time out to appreciate you guys for actually taking out time watching my videos sharing my videos across social media platforms is a big one from me to you guys and uh, i think it's all interesting and a great day today <music> Yes, first of all, um, after 214 days, uh, Buhari leaves Twitter ban for Nigerians. Twitter is now working in Nigeria. And uh, congratulations to you guys, and you guys are welcome back to Twitter at this point in time. Uh, let's talk about uh, some kind of uh, interesting stories around, uh, you know, music. And uh, some people will understand that uh, sometimes Nigeria, Nigeria uh, is the envy of uh, other entertainment industry in Africa. And one thing you need to also understand in Nigeria is Nigerian music industry is being dominated by the Yorubas at, uh, at this point in time. You know, let me just uh, give you a brief info on this. Bob Benson dominated the, um, uh, the Nigerian music industry in 1960s. Abami Fela Kuti uh, over, you know, dominated in the 1970s. And then King Sonia Ade and their chief commander Ebenezer Obe in 1980s, they dominated the Nigeria entertainment industry or the Nigeria music industry. Um, Sashina Peter and King Wasi Uayinde Mashia dominated in 1990s. Uh, Paul Play Dairo shared dominance with non Yoruba artists to face Sidibia in the 2000s. And the bunch, the Koko Master, shared dominance with non Yoruba artists P Square in the 2010s. And then we have. Um, you know, Davido Whiskey and Bonner Boy, non Yoruba but sings uh, music of Yoruba origin. That is a person of Bonner Boy, and they are dominating the airwaves right now. And that is something you guys need to actually understand. And when you look at the female artists, you have uh, the likes of Tiwa Savage, Yemi Alade, Asia, Simi, Tenny, Sheishi, you know, dominating locally and internationally with their girl power. And these are uh, Yorubas. And that is something you guys need to actually understand. I think uh, the government can, you know, rebrand Nigeria using this, uh, you know, platform that is being afforded to them at this particular time. But they don't want to make little and meaningful investment when it comes to music. And uh, away from that, let's talk about uh, what I want to talk about right now. That is the top, um, you know, um, top twenty chart. But I'm gonna take like five, uh, so that you get to understand five songs on that chart you get to understand on apple chart that is tanzanian apple music of 2020 in 2020 we have go crazy that is the number one there is go crazy by chris brown uh, that is uh, you know an american artist dominating a platform you know for uh, an african country and we have uh, mad uh, sars and uh, word 
these are Nigerian artists and actually having a dominance on other country. And this has actually brought some kind of envy and uh, some kind of hatred in most cases for Nigerian artists and a lot of Nigerians because we have a dominance um, in, in their music industry. I remember what uh, Shadawale actually said about uh, Nigerians not uh, supporting that. They support us to be on top. But some persons have been commenting ever since I made the video, right, uh, I think uh, yesterday, and uh, said, uh, if um, Ghana want us, some, uh, want us to, like, you know, accept their music, all they have to do, very simple, they should come down to Nigeria and then have a concert, like we Nigerians are having concert in Ghana, and that can actually help, and it's easy. Having a concert, you can, you know, incorporate some kind of top Nigerian artist and then make it a better one for you. And that is very simple. And uh, a lot of people are looking at it from that point of view, saying that Sharawale needs to understand that for other uh, people to support you very well, you have to put in the vibes and you have to like, you know, make your music acceptable. And then how do you do that? You have to you know, kind of cease the friendly relationship you have with others and then, you know, project your music. I was watching an uh, Afrima uh, Award uh, yesterday, you know, past Afrima Award. I got to understand that uh, there are still some Africans that are still, uh, still kind of dominating when it comes to Afrima. That is something a, a person of Iba and uh, others, they actually dominated. And this is how you can create a formidable music industry. And we have a uh, number three here. We have Rockstar, that is the BB Stealer and America. And uh, number four, we have Vibration from Fireboy, our own Fireboy. And this guy is a Nigerian. And uh, I think uh, these guys have actually made a lot of us proud dominating other platforms, even in UK and the rest right now. Uh, we have uh, in my Maserati or uh, La Kira, and this is also coming in for at this point in time. And uh, we have Love Wanting Te by CK, and uh, this guy is also a good Nigerian artist. Uh, what is your own take about all of this story? I need that in the comment section. Like we're talking about uh, CK, Love Wanting Te by CK is now certified gold in US. That is to show you the extent to which Nigerian music is being accepted across uh, the globe. For you to get certified gold in US, you must have sold about 500,000 units of that song in that country. And that is uh, a big one. And what is your own take about all of this story? I need that in the comment section so that we can actually talk about it. Before I dive off, I want to say thank you for actually taking our time, watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting. This is a great one from me to you guys. And if you are new here, consider subscribing and hit the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.